What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to spend a few minutes talking about how you can sell your dud books for a profit. Now to those of you who may not sell books, a dud book is just basically a book that we can't sell on Amazon for a profit. That are oftentimes viewed as worthless where some resellers even pay a recycling company or a trash company to haul these books away. But fortunately there are ways you can monetize them and earn a relatively decent profit. One of the best ways, as you can see on my screen, is an app called Declutter. So the Declutter app is similar to the Amazon seller app in that it allows you to scan books and it tells you how much they are worth, if they are worth anything at all. But the benefit of Declutter is that they don't have any fees and they, they cover the shipping. So if they say they're going to give you $10 for X amount of books, that you don't have to pay for shipping and you don't have to pay for fees. To be honest, they don't pay very much for books. Typically, for duds, they will pay anywhere between five cents and fifty cents, but they do pay more than nothing, and that is an amount that can really add up. But also, a benefit of using the clutter as opposed to using companies such as Half Price Books that might take your duds as well is that the clutter lets you know what books they aren't going to be able to profit from, whereas Half Price Books just kind of takes them and do donates or recycles the books that they can profit from. With Declutter, you know which books that aren't worth anything to them, so you can try to monetize those in other ways. But the only downside to Declutter, so for one downside, they want you to have the boxes be less than 20 pounds each, which is kind of a negative if you're doing a very large volume, because that is a lot of boxes. However, if you're someone like me, you know, where I might do a few hundred books at a single point in time, but not like pallets and pallets and pallets like some resellers do, it's, it's not a massive deal to keep the boxes fairly small. Also, another downside is that they have to have a barcode on them. The clutter only recognizes barcodes. You know, you can type an ISBN on a non-barcode book and it, it won't recognize it unless the book was originally supposed to have a barcode on it. But with that being said though, the clutter also takes CDs and DVDs, which is a very good thing in my opinion. Because sometimes you will find like some miscellaneous CDs or miscellaneous DVDs and books. And you know if you're not approved to sell them on Amazon, they're kind of worth nothing to you. But Declutter will sell them, uh, which Declutter will pay for them. That's especially good because if you see a large lot of CDs for free or for, for really cheap, Declutter will allow you to profit from those as well. Also every once in a while they will have like random coupon codes like we'll pay you 10% more for your the DVDs or CDs that you sent in, which a couple weeks ago I got next to four bucks from a coupon code, which adds up. Um, link in the description because if you use my referral code, we will both get an extra five dollars from Declutter. Um, another great way to monetize books, even the ones that Declutter won't accept, is to have them to sell them in lots. Right. So here you can see some sold listings for book lots on eBay. And it's important to keep in mind that I mean, you know. You know, realistically, even if they're not worth something individually, people are still going to be interested in reading, I mean, a, a lot of these books, you know? So here you can see just sold listings for book lots, you know, nothing, nothing crazy, really. I mean, but it's, it still is a profit. I mean, and here you can see, you know, horror paperback lot for $15. You know, that kind of stuff, people... You know, these books are likely mostly duds that really aren't worth anything individually, but as a group, they are worth something. When doing this, it is best to kind of break them down by author or by author or by um, subjects or by like age. So like kids books and adult books, adult books. And the reason why is because that will help people be more attracted to listings that are interested in the specific kind of aspects of the books. Um, also another another great another great way to um, sell books is through even garage sales or flea markets. You can have a garage sale on the weekends and sell books that are duds for maybe 50 cents or a dollar piece. People can come through and pick through them and and pick up the ones that they want to read which can be especially beneficial because you can set aside like maybe some sort of like back end work that you, like like accounting or, or something else that you can work on while the garage sale is going on and still get money from books that are duds um, which can especially be beneficial if you have a lot of them and 
another kind of more unique way is through kind of cutting them is to do something more like creative like artsy if you really want to do that. I've never this is just kind of a passing thought this is something I've never really heard of people actually doing in like bulk quantities before but here you can see people you know, cut them into eight cut them into like different letters or some people some people use them just kind of for decorative purposes they'll use something to make it look nice so you can like have it in the background to just I mean, you can do something to make a group of random books into a decoration, profit from doing that and selling them on eBay or maybe Etsy or something like that. Or or you could even maybe pay someone to do something creative with them and then just mark it up from there. And a last way to just kind of um, get rid of your books and your duds that, you know, not, it's not necessarily profitable, but it will help make sure that you're not losing money on your duds, you're not spending a lot of time. And, and money to get them out of your way is to have a, a thrift store or a donation service such as the Salvation Army come and pick up your books for you. So you can, for example, schedule a free pickup with a Salvation Army by going to satruck.com and they will, they will come by and pick up your books for you, which can be beneficial so that way you, know, you won't have to pay someone to haul them off you don't have to go through the pain, or not pain, but just the time and effort of, of getting them hauled off to a recycling company or something like that. So, so this can help you save time and money. So, I mean, with that being said, I hope this was helpful. If it was at all, please like, subscribe, comment, um, free stock from Robinhood in the description, and my eBay store. So thank you. Have a good one.